Hello, I am Miriam, co-founder and COO of Keto Chow. I'm Chris, also co-founder, president, and the technical guy. If you're brand new to Keto Chow, it's a nutritionally complete meal designed to make doing keto easy. We also have some electrolyte supplements that are amazing for everyday use and for keeping the dreaded keto flu away. And the audio is totally working this is time. It? Well, that's good. Not like last time, anyway. Well, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the little bell icon for updates on all our Keto Chow happenings. And we appreciate you coming along on our keto journey. Yeah. But you got to make sure you ring the, push the little bell icon. Right. I was talking with Sirius Keto today. Mm -hmm. And he says that he has a lot of people who aren't getting notified when he posts new videos. Right. And there can be a couple of reasons for that. So if you have notifications turned on for a channel. Yeah. But you have notifications turned off for, say, YouTube on your phone, yeah. you won't get notifications. Right. Period. So well, and there's some times when it, it, like you get notified so then you turn it off on your phone mm -hmm. and then when you turn it back on, like sometimes channels yeah. like get messed up so sometimes you think you have it and you have to go back in and do it again. It's kind of weird. Or every once in a while you're on a different YouTube channel. Yeah, that's true. And that could be weird too. Hi Mitzi! Let's see, when does Mitzi's video go Should we look up? it up? It I can look it up real quick. I think it might be tomorrow. Oh. Anyway, oh, it can't be today because we don't have any of them yeah, going live today. Yeah, we should have not today. had. So, Tuesdays we had blocked out. Mm. Storm Chasing Gal is here. Wants to know if you are just from the shower like last time. Well, I actually have dry hair today. <laughs> Although I still don't have any makeup on. Maria's here. Um, Hi, Marie. So is Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Uh, Purple Love and Nana is here as well. Uh, let's see. Platte River Keto is ear hustling hey, while they're walking hey. the dogs. I want to come with you. Dennis is here. And Dennis, to answer your earlier question about mm -hmm. who is coming to the... Oh. Um, to the... Uh, what's it called? Meetup. Meet up. I published that today. It is Siobhan Huggins and... Yes. Um, Leslin, Leslin Key. Key. It's going to be so, awesome. And... Um, I'm super excited because I want to learn more. Oh my gosh. Keto Chow. Hey, you can't pay attention while I'm not paying attention. No, I was just trying to pull up low-carb events. I wanted events. to look up Mitzi's um, Oh, when talk. it's going to be going live? Yeah. Let me find it. Okay. Let's go. Let's anyway, go. Anyway, so yeah. Portal the meetup, we've got Siobhan Huggins and Leslin Keith are going to be speaking. And there's a bio for each of them. It says right it's here. live right now. That's us live right now. No, that's us live. Oh, Premieres I in totally 22 like hours. Sweet. Okay, so tomorrow. Yeah, so tomorrow. There you Yay. go. So yes, check out Mitzi's talk yeah. tomorrow. And Chris was excited I was bringing some cheese in to our room. <laughs> it looked phone. like a block of Colby Jack cheese from across the room. Kind of. Anyway, Kathy's here. So is Christy Davis. Mama Hi, Kathy's Christy. a little there. GGB uh, hi, is saying Kat. hi to you. Oh, and also to me. Hi, GGB. Brady Fritzader is here. And Dennis says, we can only hope that if it's coming from the shower, it means more singing. Right. I'm singing in the shower. No singing in the North Pole. And I'm singing. Chris Salmon says, hello from Swindon, England. <gasps> wow. I want to so go to be there. On today. It's my first life. Well, yeah, welcome. Yeah, so tell us what time it is where you live. Um, in oh, and Lori says, we coordinate super well. Yeah, you do. Um, let's see. Yeah, and I have, my room has lots of stars. I do not. Yeah, I'm starry. This is a very good evening. Yeah, that along with every single chance to sing to each other, yeah, or to the entire assembled keto family, right. Did you be had a double rainbow? How fun. Um, our daughter is up in uh, Canada. In Canada said that she got to see a triple rainbow. I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, it is, actually. Triple let's rainbow see. in the sky. Uh, let's see if I can find it really Google quick. it. Did she post it? XKCD. Oh, okay. She didn't post it. I've never heard of that. Do you guys have keto chow today? I didn't. I actually was going to have delicious chili verde made by Holly and Steve Larrabee. They brought it to work for me. And then we went to a funeral in instead of lunch. I'm not going to be able to find it. And then we came back. And got doing a couple of meetings, and then all of a sudden, it was 3.30, and I needed to leave to go get Sam his shots. 
Although so this I didn't is one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite XKCD cartoons. Right okay. There. That has nothing to do with anything. No, nothing at all. Let's all look at it. Number one, number one programmer excuse for legitimately slacking off my code's compiling. Compiling. Hey, get back to work. Compiling. Okay, carry okay, on. Okay, so then tell everybody what compiling means. Oh, it's where you're, you wrote the code. Mm -hmm. You wrote the instructions and it's going through and turning it into like the stuff the machine that's going to run on actually does. Okay. Anyway, Mike wants to know what the big announcement is now. I don't know what you're what talking about, Mike. What's the big Mike? announcement? No. Nope. Not I today. Am, I am not having a baby. <laughs> Mommy Cat says you look I'm ready for that. the 4th of July. That was just kind of by chance, wasn't it? Yeah. I actually wore a 4th of July outfit to the funeral, yeah. too. I just wore a blue dress with a white jacket. Yeah. Two Queens Go Keto is here. Hi. I remember you guys. I haven't seen you for a while. How are you doing? Uh, let's see. Andy is here. This is Hi, Chris and Miriam. Hi, Andy. wants to know if we're having a July 4th sneak peek. Is yeah. It bombsicle popsicle flavor. That's right. Because you know what? July 4th is next week, so yeah. we might as well be enjoying... See, she's got it. Yeah, June, June 28th. 28th. Yeah. She's got it figured out. We could have just looked, and we would have seen it right there. I know. <laughs> Karen's here, so is Mimi. Hi, Mimi. Now, let's see. Storm Chasing Gal says you need some sparklers. I know. Ready, Set Keto is here. All right, let the party begin. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Uh, I don't know what party we're having, Chris. <laughs> You're, There's a random lighter you're there. You're having and I'm your like, own party. <laughs> anyway, I know why is there a lighter there? There is a lighter there because we, we had the cake. when we announced birthday cake. But we didn't cake. have like a candle or anything. No, there were candles on the in the shake that I blew oh, out for my birthday. Right, right. Your friend Nancy says almost here. Nice. Almost Diane here. is first time catching us live. Welcome, Diane. Diane. Thanks for saying. And he says I usually catch the Monday morning chat, but I'm finally catching up on this one. Yay. Can't wait to see it. Keto Palooza. That'll be so awesome. I love Keto Palooza. The funny thing is, so we have we have a crazy August. And yes. Keto Palooza isn't even part of that. Keto Palooza oh. comes after crazy August. Yeah. <laughs> August is gonna be crazy <laughs> anyway. It's gonna be amazing. Janice says tomorrow's surprise is exciting. Uh let's see. Lynette is here. Hi, bum, Lynette. Bum, bum, bum. Becky's here. Lindsay. Hi, Becky. Is Hi, here Lindsay. with Jared. <gasps> Hi, Jared. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> he's, just, he's a murderer of fun because he doesn't want a live chat next Aww, to me. Oh, <laughs> sad. That's hilarious. Well, what uh, are you do? What are you doing, Jared? Like, what are you doing? The Chris cool says it's three twenty nine a.m. in Swindon, England. <gasps> Why are you? So awake? it's worth waking up early just. To oh see my both. gosh, wow, you, there you guys! Go. And Chris. Neely's here too. <gasps> Neely, did you bring your husband as well? <sighs> Hi, Neely. <laughs> Chris, um, are you going to go work out right now, like at 3.30? Like, that's amazing. Not me, Chris. That Chris. Yeah. Um, people want... Uh, see, but, Jared wants but. singing. Singing, singing, singing. I'm singing, singing in the shower. Singing in the rain. Just singing in the Genesis, rain. Genesis, we had two rainbows today. What a cool Nice. Wall. Kathy He's says I made an egg loaf with maple waffle, singing. and it was scrumptious. Oh, I said that wrong note. I'm sorry about that. Uh, Purple Love and Nana says I had... I has combo chocolate peanut butter and peanut butter made with butter. Yumma. Oh, and Mimi says it's sad to see Dr. Barry won't be at the antithetic conference in person. Oh, Chris and won't be either. Yeah, we won't. Um, grateful to have a chance to meet Rachel. And oh, we are going to go. Oh, that would be so fun. Yeah, we just can't do everything. I would love to go because that would be super fun. But I need to be with my kids. Apparently, Jared's very impressed with how fast the chat is moving tonight. Oh, thank you. We are like how fast really we're hard. catching up or how fast it's moving. I don't know. Yeah. Elsa's added some keto chop mixed in Greek yogurt. There you go. Oh, yeah. little almond milk to loosen it up. Raspberry cheesecake. That yummy. sounds awesome. A mom and cat did not have keto chow today, but did yesterday. Caramel macchiato has become a favorite, I'm so I so bought glad. a big bag. Oh, yeah. What should I bake with it? Make a tiramisu. There you go. Oh, yeah. We have one. And Carrie knew what compiling is. <laughs> yeah, Carrie would know that. GGB says, My youngest just asked, Who are those guys? I said, Chris and Miriam. They created Keto Chow. Where she points besties? to a packet and said, They invented that? And I said, Yes. And she says, And they know your name? Yeah, we are tight. <laughs> it's Santa. It's Santa. I know him. <laughs> I know him. Nancy says that she's guessing watermelon. Oh, watermelon. That, yeah, I don't know what announcement you're talking about. That's a hard one. Jerry says, I just got major street cred because I know you. I know you. Now you just need to convince our children that we're cool. Yeah, they won't think that. Well, I don't think we're necessarily cool just because we're on the internet. Famous on the internet. 
Anyway, Diane says I made some birthday cake keto chow tonight. We'll turn yes. it into ice cream tomorrow for the first time. We tonight. need to do that too. I, yeah, we have I do not still done need that, that yet. I've got nope. Nope. I've got I've it. got two lemon meringues and a birthday cake. You know cake. who somebody on the Facebook support group did lemon meringue and birthday cake in the creamy together. Okay. And oh, it, they said it was a really good combo. So Thanks that's a good tomorrow. idea. It's all the same. Yeah. Annabella yeah. is here. Annabella, hi. What Welcome. time is it where you live? In Australia. Well, right? Australia. Keto Karen is here as well. Karen, hello. Jennifer votes the next announcement is daily minerals in capsule form. Wouldn't that be nice? I vote for that too. Yeah. We've had a bunch of people let's suggest try it. that. Let's try that. Uh, let's see. Um, Andrea just had a keto chow core. Nice. Okay. Um, so we ran out of, I actually made some keto Andrea. chow core and it wasn't sweetened. And I made myself, I took an old bottle of, um, yeah, actually it was of the fasting drops. And I took the label off. And I filled it up with liquid sucralose, and I wrote sucralose across it. And it's sitting on my desk. Yeah. And I put six drops. We need to fill the ones up that we have of these to take on our hike. Well, we'll need a big we'll one. We'll need a billion yeah. of these to help give everybody the yeah. drops. Last time we went on that hike, well, we're almost, well, actually, we're not caught up. Yes, yeah, But talking. we're going to talk Gosh. about the hike. But we, last time we took along a bunch of the electrolytes, mm -hmm. and none of the kids that we were in charge of had any problems yep. with dehydration. They were awesome. Oh, Shauna says Kiefer is in 100 days. 100 wow. days. Should we have a 100-day party and dress up like old people? Why would we dress up like because that's gold what they... people? Old Brenda people. Brenda says, hello, wonderful keto friends. What did you do in kindergarten? Oh, Neely says Jeff is working out of town. Oh. Sad. I like him. Is he him. working hard or is he hardly working? I don't know. Is, is he working construction? I don't know. And Jared's not flying an airplane? Weird. <laughs> Weirdy. John says, I'm not feeling like cooking, so eating a part of a beef gut keto brick, a.k.a. Bell's brownie Oh, batter. I totally ate a ton of Bell's brownie because, like I said, Yesterday. I didn't have that delicious... No, today. I didn't have that delicious chili verde, so when I got home at oh, 3.30 right. and I hadn't had anything to eat today, I said to Sam... Will you get me some chocolate pigs out of the freezer? And so he did. So I had a little cup with my keto brick pieces of Bell's brownie batter, whatever it's called. Yeah. That's what I Basically, ate. Basically, this is they just had keto chow core ice cream with peanut butter yeah. mixed in. Nice. Um, yes, peanut butter would make it delicious. Uh, let's see. Deb, Deb says hello. How are you? You look Mike so says it's already tomorrow somewhere on Earth. Right. Annabella, it's it, tomorrow over and there. And in England with Chris. Yeah, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. in the morning. Yeah. GB says that the announcement, I mean, you know, get, get yourself on the list, people. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> well, there's right. a, mm -hmm. there's a, there's what something coming short... email. Oh, ha, 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 ha. You guys know. <laughs> Karen says, y'all are good at keeping secrets. To Gracie Kiyo says, hey, everyone. <laughs> hey. Oh, yeah, and. Lindsay says, Jared's saving our chocolate peanut butter for tomorrow Ooh, night. We ha delicious. We'll have to mix in some peanut butter. Nice. Yeah, do it. Extra peanut butter is always uh, delicious. Let's see. Yeah, Annabella says it's 11.25 a.m. on Wednesday. Wednesday already. See? So, so Annabella can know. Everybody look away yeah, for everybody. a second, and I'll just tell Annabella the secret. La, 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 la. It's gonna be me. So we're seeing gal wants to know if there's any chance of birthday cake going big bag. Well, right now birthday cake is limited yeah. edition. I it's actually getting kind I of I can't low. believe it's not out already because like two days ago we had like a thousand. Not left. very many. Yeah. So Yeah, it's it's getting close. I'm to surprised being that we still have any. Yep. But no, it's not gonna be big bags until we see. How you like it. See how it's sold. Decide if we want to reorder more in the little bag. Also, we need to order these little fun cupcake things because they're so cute okay. and rainbowy. Visual Kiosk says the birthday cake ice cream was yummy with a few dark lily, chocolate lilies. Yes. There you go. And Suzanne is here. Says Suzanne, hello. hi. Chris says, I don't even have any keto chun. Now I ran out and can't oh, get any delivered to the UK. Oh, that's of the right. Laws. Yeah. Oh, I'll have to wait until I travel to the USA again. That's the worst. Can you come tomorrow? So interestingly enough, our governor here in Utah yes. just announced that oh, Chris, they so had a, uh, a press conference where he was talking about mm -hmm. improving trade relations with uh, France and uh, England with yeah. Utah. Yeah. I'm like... Does, Thank you. Does we that would mean like we could like actually ship stuff? And no, yes. it didn't have anything about food manufacturing. Why don't we anyway. just 
put some keto chow on Jared's airplane and he can take it over to Chris. I don't think Jared flies international. Jared, can you fly some stuff to Chris in England? Mama Cat says the birthday cake is so good. The only thing missing is cake crumbs. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, cake crumbs would be Lindsay good. Lindsay wants core stevia in the big bags. Do you? Yeah. Have you ever said that before? Yeah. I don't remember ever I hearing want you that say too, that. I too, although I haven't had it in a little Five bit. Five times. <laughs> Bob's here. Says good evening. Hi, Bob. Wanda wants birthday cake Wanda, in big bags. Hello. How are you? Uh, Exposing Darkness says I know that um, Miriam mm -hmm. uses magnesium drops for the... Are the capsules as effective? I think so. I think the 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 difference is first of all the taste, of course, is different. Yeah. But then the capsule no does the take a little while to, to take dissolve. effect, just because the liquid is already liquid, but the capsule has to dissolve and then go throughout your body. So, I actually do at night. I've been doing two magnesium capsules and a dropper full of the, not this one, the dropper one, mm -hmm. of the magnesium drops still and i just love it it's great so uh ggb says my sucralose is in those containers too hubs doesn't like my sharpie on dr barry's face oh that is fun sad. fact did you the make the very oh, first yeah. run of dr barry <laughs> daily minerals we 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 you, tried to get it done i me. tried to get it done i said no. but no it actually came down to the place that did it would only would, they had a minimum of one thousand of each design? Oh right! And I only wanted like five of them. Yeah. It was a label that had like villain mustache handlebar mustache on, on Doctor Barry. It was pretty awesome. He thought it was a hoot. Nisha thought and it was Nisha's funny like, too. Nisha's like, that's funny, but let's not do it. <laughs> anyway, what yeah, were you that was say? pretty. That was exactly what I was going to okay. say. I didn't think you wanted five. I thought you were going to go for real Z's. Um, L wants some empty dropper bottles. I couldn't bring them on the cruise. So we don't sell oh, empty yeah. ones. We just have the pre-filled ones. But the pre-filled ones are only They're like six dollars. And so yeah. just next time you grab or just go on Amazon a refill, and, just grab yeah. a couple more and then you can use it and then keep it for a refill. Yeah, we don't actually have any empty ones around yep. anymore. We quit uh, doing Lindsay that. Lindsay says the people have spoken, the must motion must carry. Okay. <laughs> Doing it. She says, I love seeing my, my friend's kids dress up for 100 days. I know. They're so cute, right? Exposing Darkness is a new launch tomorrow. I read a new lunch tomorrow. Elle says, yeah, I couldn't bring daily minerals on the cruise. Yeah, so oh, the the smaller bottle, we there call them the baby berries. There is a tiny one. Yeah. That's those only are, two ounces. Those are two fluid ounces, and mm -hmm. they will, you can transport them in an aeroplane. Yep. We didn't end up bringing any daily minerals on the cruise either. I did the, take my magnesium, though. Okay, one to one core unsweetened it. in big bags. And Mama Cat says it's 4.29 a.m. in Germany. Wow, okay. Oh, cool. Okay, Exposing Darkness says, Thomas DeLauer says something about sucralose and DNA. Do you know what that's about? Yes. I don't, because I didn't hear what he said. Sucralose. Okay. Do, do, do. Fossils. Okay. okay. There was a new study that was published. I'm just going to come well, right down and the if you want to know how to read studies, come back tomorrow and watch Mitzi's talk. Yes. Because she talks about the different things that you see in studies that are uh, misleading. Okay. This is at the bottom of the Why Does Keto Chow Have Sucralose page. Okay. So here we have, I'm just going to go ahead and read this. Okay. Sorry for the wall of text. In 2023, a study was published where the researchers looked at a form of sucralose called sucralose 6 acetate, it's an right. impurity, mm -hmm. which they found at typical concentrations of 0.5% in samples of pure sucralose, okay. at least the ones that they tested. Yeah. They, it was up to 0.63%, okay. but the, the, the middle of the majority rose 0.5. Majority or whatever. They performed a number of experiments where they tested sucralose 6 acetate, not sucralose. Just the imperfection. Sucralose 6 acetate. Okay. In different concentrations and saw what it did to cells and to DNA. Right. They found that high concentrations cause changes in gene expression. Okay. So your DNA, some things get turned on and some things get turned off. The instructions right. are there. Gene expression is just what stuff is active at the time. Anyway, changes okay. in gene expression. Intestinal barrier function, but only okay. without typical intestinal bacteria. Once you added those typical intestinal bacteria, okay. nothing changed. Anyway, and they also noticed breaks in DNA. 
The okay. lowest concentrations that problems were observed was at 353 micrograms per milliliter. That's still a lot. Oh, it's actually tiny. Oh. Okay, so you've got a gram. Micrograms, I guess. You've got a milligram and you've got a microgram. A microgram is a millionth of a gram. Okay, so this is 353 millionths. Millionths per milliliter. Okay. Gram. Assuming their figure of 0.5% and taking okay. a 0.08 gram dose of sucralose in a 600 milliliter serving of keto chow. Okay. That calculates to a theoretical 0.667 micrograms okay. per milliliter. There's too many numbers. Okay. 0.667 compared to 353. Oh, that's even less. Yes. So that means that is 0.18% of the lowest experiment concentration that showed problems. Or, in other words, the experiment used 529 times higher concentrations of sucralose 6-acetate as what theoretically might be found in keto chow. Right. We do not recommend increasing the sweetener in keto chow by 529 times. That would be silly. So, but this is still not what's in keto chow. That's this it's is still that, not what's in the, it's, the defect. It's section. the impurity thing. So impurity, whatever. As far as I can tell, every study that's been performed with a neg with a possible yes. negative thing on sucralose is listed and analyzed on this page. Right. So yeah, sure, they're DNA stuff again. It wasn't sucralose that caused the problem. It was sucralose 6-acetate. And it was at insane concentrations. And without bacteria. And without the bacteria that you would find. So what they, they were doing these in vitro. So they take yeah. stuff out of the human body and they test it as an isolated experiment. Which is a good right. way to yeah. like form hypotheses. Which is also good compared to rats because we are not those We things. are not rats. So, so that's good. There you go. So yeah, check out that page. If you just Google keto chow sucralose, you're going to find it right off the bat. Um, but And if that's a concern to you, check out the keto chow core, which we currently don't have in the stevia sweetened version because yeah, it's sold out. Yeah, why don't we have that? Uh, it's coming. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Gigi Beast says frozen bells, brownie, keto brick chocolate, pigs. That's a yeah, mouthful. Yeah, I just yes, say chocolate pigs. Is. And now my kids know where they are so they can grab them for me. Except the chocolate pigs are empty now. So I have to make some more. Bob tried a first, his first experiment mixing raspberry cheesecake with chocolate Oh, what do you think? Was it good? That uh, sounds that weird. Sounds like a good idea. Weirdy weird. Did you Nancy like it? Nancy is here. Hi, Nancy. Cleaning out pantry and setting up keto style. Yes. There you go. Uh, Lindsay wants to know how many more months of sales data we need, do we need to verify that core must be put in oh, the big bags? We could, probably, we could probably look through it. How yep. long has it been? A couple months. It's uh, yeah. We actually have the data. Yeah. Here's the thing. Kay. We have to do the work, though. No. Well. Okay. So, my children have come to terms with the term. I'm being deliberately evasive. Yeah. So now that means you know, if Chris says that he don't want to talk I'm about it anymore. I'm not going to answer your question. I'll joke around a bit, but I'm <laughs> not going to tell you the answer because I'm not going to announce it ahead of time. We've told people actually yeah, that we Chris reordered always, the stevia. Yeah, we did order the core. Stevia core. But whether it's in big bags or not, I'm not going to tell you until we yeah, actually I'm not have it or tell not. You about it. Because unfortunately, there's a lot of stuff that's outside of our control, particularly the core. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that uses that's a hard to beef get protein the beef isolate. protein actually. Um, and that particular beef protein, they had enough for whatever we ordered next, but we won't be getting any more until 2024. Oh, that's right. Yep. So whatever we get, boy, you better hope we got that's, big bags, Lindsay. That's going to be it. It's going to be it. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Me. You're being weird. <laughs> I'm a goat. <laughs> weird. Anyway, Lori just got birthday cake delivered today. <gasps> Yay, Lori. What do you think about birthday cake mixed with chocolate core? And Mike would order two big bags of birthday cake if he could. Chris says, yeah, I do need my keto chow. Yeah, I'd love to get it somehow into. I know. Well, what Can I we just need come is over and bring some? the same setup that we have with Switch Grocery I in know. Canada. Yeah, we need that. I need that. something we need it. like that. Do you the know problem is, 
We need someone who's a an experienced importer exporter. Yep. That's willing to do all the work. Import it. Yeah. You could do all the do work, it. and then we will just supply them with the stuff. Yep. Serena says I love birthday cake, but now beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. I'm gonna have to say. Oh, that's it. okay. I'm glad you're doing that. That's good. Shana mixed in some cherry extract. Oh, that's a good idea. Nice. Cough drop birthday Yubi cake. Yubi says I got a new fridge yesterday, transferring stuff from the old to the new. I found half oh, a keto nice. chow creamy. Mm. Mm. What flavor is it? Brown could be is it root beer? Chocolate toffee? Huh? Sounds delicious. Jennifer says, I was pleasantly surprised how many people recognize our Keto Chow blender bottles at the Indianapolis Zoo today. Oh, how awesome really? is that? Okay, that makes so me happy. Our favorite Keto Chow in the wild was we oh went my to drop off our daughter at, yes. in Rexburg, Idaho. Was that Idaho? Middle of or nowhere. was that BYU? No, it was Rexburg, Idaho. And there was a random Keto Chow blender bottle like, yes. sitting on a shelf. Now, I didn't actually get to see it because I saw it was it, a girl's, it was girl's only dorm. dorm and yes. men of any kind are not allowed past the front entry. Yes. Like, I wasn't even allowed into the bathroom. Nope, you can't. Not in those dorms. <laughs> and um, it was great because it wasn't even her dorm, right? It was somebody else's dorm that we were touring. Oh, yeah, that's right. And so I'm like, oh, my gosh. I know them. I recognize I am them. that. <laughs> anyway. It made me so happy. Annabelle wants to know how you do the straw trick. Oh, uh, I just put the put a straw in a cup, right? And then I take the little, this guy, what do you yeah. do? And I put it down the end of the straw. And then the, the liquid is denser than water, right? So it'll go to the bottom. Then I just take the straw and sip it up right away. And it's going to get all the stuff you just put in. It'll be one little taste of saltiness. And then the rest will be followed by water or whatever you're drinking. I mean, if you put it in whatever you're drinking, yep. it works so great. It is so fast. It's the fastest way to do it without tasting. Now, we did publish a video not too long ago. With the straw on, trick? On YouTube. Oh. It's a short, though. Oh. And I'm it's just pulling up Keto Chow Strawberry. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> Keto Auntie says, I'm catching your live for the first time in forever. Oh, yay. Catherine wants to know, how do you mix two different flavors? Do you make two containers worth? Or make one, and how much fluid? Mm -hmm. So you and can you're not sounding make two, you sound split amazing, it in half. Catherine. Do half a scoop of each. Mm -hmm. Make one. I usually do three at a time, so I'll do two of one flavor and one of another. Yeah, but I want it to be more perfect than that, yeah. so I do half, half, and, and half, or whatever. Okay. Oh. Uh, Keto Ante is making smoked ribs for dinner. Nice. nice. Yeah, Shauna also has one of the little electrolyte bottles labeled liquid sucralose. Yep. <laughs> uh, Lindsay says, I'm absolutely looking forward to the how to read studies discussion. Really. Oh, it's super great. It is a good one. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's really nice because she like, kind of kind of told what, um, oh yeah. It was just great. Lynette wants to know who's coming important. to the Keto Chow yeah. meetup in July. It is Leslin Keith and Siobhan Huggins. Yeah, but I think she means who is coming. Oh, uh, oh, who's coming? I'm going to be there. Is anybody coming? Can you guys come? I want you to come. Uh, let's use this book. Exposing Darkness says many studies are so one-sided and basically not honest. And Mike wants to know who funded this study. I'm actually not sure who studied it. I don't know. Who funded it? <laughs> Sean says, I'm still it. at, in 2023, a study that was published. My favorite thing about that analysis right. is I had it up the day the study was published. Yeah, he had that. And a lot of people were like, well, there's a new study. I'm like, yes, I, I saw know. that, and no, I but, read it. No, this is a new study that came out last week. I'm like, I know. I, I analyzed I it that it. day. <laughs> anyway, Lori says, on the road, Vancouver Island, ooh, the big trees and mountains are interfering oh, with good action. Oh, I'm sorry. You enjoy what you're doing. Yeah. Okay, Jared oh, says, of course I fly trees. internationally. I'll drop some keto chow off in the UK through the bomb day bay yes. doors. He's like the freaking candy bomber. Jared, you're the best. Janice says, I vote for minerals in capsule form as well. And Serena says, I got so busy listening, I wasn't paying attention to the chat. And That's Mike okay. says, That's some okay. people are rats. Oh, my. <laughs> Andrea puts minerals in Oops. small bottles when she travels. Nice. And Annabelle is going to buy beef spare ribs tomorrow. Oh, that sounds nice. good. Nice. <laughs> and lamb shanks. Lindsay says, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mike says he could tell us, but then they have to kill us. That's right. Uh, and Patty also wants minerals in capsule mm, as well. I know, that'd be great, right? So it's a smart business. Not anyone's business to tell you announce it. Well, and it's the thing, and it come keeps coming back to, 
in the past, I made the mistake of announcing stuff ahead of time. Yeah, like way ahead of time. Way ahead of time. And then it was, when's it coming back? When's it, when's it going to arrive? When's it going to arrive? And then stuff kept on getting... too many things I do. supposed to. Well, I'm just excited to share stuff with you guys. Supposing Darkness says, don't try, to, don't try making a blender ice cream with a core and beef towel. It doesn't work out. Really? Oh. I, I don't well, know. Did you have the beef tallow melted? Yeah. Or it could be like the... Oh, yeah. I don't know. I haven't tried well, that. Well, Chris Salmon just said we can come over and stay with her. Okay. Wait, which part of which part of England again? Something that is starts with Is it the cool part? And, in the town. And is it Chris he or Chris In the her? town or in the country? Well, I do have a town... Uh, a house in the in, country. In, in the town. We're, I'm in trying the, to quote the importance of being yeah, earnest, but I'm failing, botching it. Totally failing. That's such a funny movie. I love it. And play. I have anyway, Shauna ordered a big birthday cake, yeah. my limit. So I loved it so much, and I was telling my mom, and she bought me some, too. <gasps> nice. What a sweetheart. <laughs> it says, I think they're, get, they're getting sick of me begging for big bags that of chocolate true. course. That TV. is true. But who could get sick of Lynette? I mean, so she's Janice amazing. put macadamia nut in my brick pucks, <gasps> and it's fun. Oh, that, that sounds amazing. I want to try drop that. Drop a couple in there. Yeah. I, I have a... I have a bad relationship with macadamia and that stuff. Yeah. I do good with the single serving packets. That's what I do good with. Um, oh, and Ready Set Keto is being a terrible person. It says Emily wants a carrot cake keto chow. What? <laughs> carrot cake. <laughs> My problem with carrot oh. cake is the walnuts that are normally in there. Oh, yeah. That's I just, why it's delicious. I never developed a liking for carrot cake because oh. of the walnuts. I thought so it for was me, so... It's, yeah funny it's when your mom got your brother a carrot cake for his birthday because okay. it was his favorite but it actually was his least favorite and she remembered it backwards backwards i do, do actually that? i do remember that i do i in the past i did really like um oatmeal raisin cookies though oh yeah i like those too anyway Jimmy says, yeah, uh, well, that wants it now. And now we, <laughs> now we know why it's, it's got to happen. Yep. Radical Geek is here. Hey, Matreya. Mike says, I want to beg for you? guava grapefruit to never go away. The problem with I guava do. grapefruit I like guava is grapefruit. it's already discontinued. It's sad. Sorry. So we still have some in stock. Maybe. But uh, when it runs out, it's not planned to come back. Sad. So. Just like black um, licorice. Keto Auntie wants a black raspberry keto chow. Mm. Hmm, that'd be interesting. We had such a problem with the raspberry cheesecake getting it restocked, though. Yeah. And did you be add does raspberry cheesecake and add black raspberry puree? That's a good idea. Mm, that does sound good. Mm -hmm. Supposing darkness wants to know is guava grapefruit being discontinued? It actually yep. was discontinued. It's already discontinued. We just had a lot of it. We still, still have some. Yep. Donna says, I was, I was going to place an order today and then saw there's an announcement oh. tomorrow. Should I wait? You can. That's a good question. I think a lot of people are. <laughs> Keto on the Mist says, late and catching up at 2x. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, you can change the playback speed if you're behind. And we'll just talk really fast. Yeah. Uh, Chris Sam is, says, I will come to the Kyoto Chow meetup in 2024 yes, if you we have We do have one. one. So we have the see. dates already, World actually. Events.com. We were just discussing this earlier today, so... I'm going to click on this guy right here, Utah Keto Meetup. And, it and shows there all of them. are... There's the dates. We actually have some of the speakers, too, but I have to have to put them on there. So you got February 24th, mm -hmm. May 18th, mm -hmm. July 20th, and October 19th. Woohoo! Already ready to go. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Elsa Strange says, I love the guava grapefruit as a creamy. I agree with you. I do like the guava grapefruit mm -hmm. as a creamy, too. Sean says, I do appreciate that Chris analyzes these studies Thank and gives you. us his knowledge. I don't want to analyze oh. studies. Donna so says, Friday is my birthday, so I need a keto chow birthday cake. Let's just sing right now. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Donna. Donna. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. <laughs> Janice has her semi-annual um, visit tomorrow. Oh, and fun. I'm assuming with the doctor. Funsies. Uh, let's see. And Lynette put up the status page. For the keto chow flavors. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, let's see, Sorb Chasing Gal says, I think macadamia nuts taste awful. Good for you. Keep it that way. Yeah, it's better. Annabella is going to be buying meat for a while. Delicious. Can't afford keto chow. Right? It's gone up. Oh, that's a okay. A used stick with the meat. Meat is so good. Yes. Uh, Sean says, for a long time I was allergic to walnuts. That's okay. Chris is still allergic to walnuts. I am. Chris says, it's really Krista, but there I use Chris. 
It it's is her. Swindon, and I'm 45 minutes Swindon west of, of London. London. Oh, okay. Between London and Bristol. Nice. In the heart, in the heart of, of beautiful, beautiful West, west country. country. Oh, not, not far, far from Stonehenge. Stonehenge. I want to come over there. That would be awesome. Norma says we put pecans in carrot cake. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Stonehenge. I keep asking Carrie Brown if she'll take me to London. <laughs> I don't know that she's been back since she, she came hasn't. over. Yeah. She hasn't been back. Norma's, I mean, Storm Chasing Gal says, is black cherry gross or no? We don't have a black cherry. Yeah, the we problem don't. with all of the cherries that we've tried mm -hmm. is they just taste like cough, drop. cough drops. Cough drops. Shelly says, You had a black licorice? We did. I'm it was sorry, really fun. Shelly. It actually was actually really introduced like as a joke. Yeah. And the red licorice like, was also we like to do weird insanely things. Insanely good. Yeah, the red licorice was really good. It tasted just like red vines. Okay. Mm -hmm. GN. Medina says, I just started keto. People always telling me keto is bad for me. So yeah, there's happen. a couple of That's different so tactics. You I'm can sorry. Take. You can just say, I'm eating healthy. You can say, I'm not having sugar yep. anymore. I just cut out sugar. I cut out sugar. You can tell them. I'm, I'm clean eating. Yeah. One of the best tactics I've heard is just tell them you're eating a Mediterranean diet because right. nobody knows. Nobody knows what that is. <laughs> Even the proponents of a Mediterranean diet can't agree what a Mediterranean diet yep. is. Mediterranean diet. You could just tell them that. So, yeah. And well, the I'm funny thing you're, is, you're did they care us. when you ate an entire package of Oreos? Right. Like I used to? They didn't care. They didn't care. But boy, you start eating... You start eating clean and then you're... Meat in, and eggs. They and think you're weird. They do. They think we're weird too. <laughs> so you're in good company. I'm glad you're with us. GGB says I ate carrot cake all the time and spit every single walnut on a plate. You guys are the best manners growing up, but not with my desserts. You guys. Andrea wish black licorice would be a permanent flavor. The mm. issue is we know, brought in like 12,000 of the black licorice. They didn't and it sell lasted very fast. like a year mm -hmm. for those 12,000. We sell, I mean, that's like. That's like a month. Actually, that's like two weeks worth of the chocolate. Yeah. So. It just goes really fast. Annabella wants to know do I like pecans? Andrea, I miss you. I don't waste my calories on pecans. I like pecans. There's so many other like, nuts that I like so much better. I like nuts. Just like, no. Nope. But you did give up cashews pretty much. Yes. So a cashews are really high in carbs. Mm -hmm. For the nut yeah. family. Marie says, I use the beef soup base and black cherry water enhancer to make a black cherry keto chow. Oh, me? that's a good idea. Karen says, am I the only one that doesn't like grapefruit? No, there are a lot of people who don't. Yep. That's why it's discontinued. <laughs> uh, Jill says, I'm late. I can't believe I actually caught it live. Well, welcome. How are you? I miss Jennifer you. Jennifer says, I challenge Carrie Brown to develop a lemon poke cake. You know, she style. would totally do it. She's amazing. Probably would. Mm -hmm. And Andrew doesn't like walnuts either. And Neely says, I'm currently prepping creamy keto chows and I'm having flavor paralysis. So many options. First world problems. That is a big That's, concern of ours, it's actually, true. is uh, the flavor paralysis. Like, I don't know. Just, just go like this. Mm -hmm. yeah, just, this one. Yeah, that can be... Or ask your kid to pick it. That'd yeah. be perfect. Yeah, give them some flavor paralysis. Or if you want a little bit of more space, pick the one that's most empty. Didn't Lynette send you some to mix up recently anyway? Yeah. I mean, try those out. Yeah. Shauna says I love black licorice and have, still have some hoarded in my drawer. Yes, I also have some hoarded. <laughs> I, I said to our warehouse person, I'm like, if there's any leftover black licorice, just save it for me. We ended me. up with like 20 of them. And yeah. Just save it for me. <laughs> I Chris says I'd love to host myself. you both and two crazy ketos, but we should make a trip out of it. I'm I'm willing to go. Annabelle says my family came from from London. I really do a good Aww. Cockney accent. I really don't do any good. Well, that's been to London a few times. I have never been. I've never been east of um, Connecticut. No, I've been to Massachusetts. We've been to Massachusetts. Yes, so that's the furthest from east we've ever been. We have been to Canada. Yeah, and to but Mexico. that was to uh, Toronto. And to islands on the sea. <laughs> Summer Chasing Gal says sugar is demonic. Right. <laughs> Annabelle says, yeah, I'm eating a low-sugar, diabetic-friendly lifestyle. That's exactly it. Supposing Darkness right. says, no update on the maple waffle. It's one of my favorites. Oh, are we I don't out know if of we... stock? Oh, yeah, we're out of stock. I don't know if we've posted um, an update on that one or not. Sorry. I don't it sounds think like have... a fall flavor, though, doesn't it? I don't think um, so Bob's also voting for carrot cake. <laughs> Sean says, I have black and red licorice. I'm also saving. Mm -hmm. Exposing Darkness says, or rather, no announcement. We're not making any announcement today. 
Not today. Not today. Not today, Junior. Not today, Junior. Mike says I like uh, grapefruit flavor, but the thought of it in a milkshake is not appealing. Yeah, but then you try it and you're like, yeah. Wait, this is kind of good. Yeah. Annabelle likes pistachios, but doesn't really eat nuts anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And I, yeah. Storm Chasing Gal wants maple waffle in big bags. Suzanne says I'm making blueberry pie, birthday cake, and peanut butter keto chow creamies right now. Right now. That sounds amazing. I need creamies because my creamy uh, stash is empty. Oh. Somebody ate them all. Mike it says to me, me it tastes like guava, not grapefruit. Mm. Shelly says I think you should share black licorice. My birthday is on Saturday. I know. Let's well, we have to sing to Shelly. have to sing to you now, too, because we won't be doing a live stream between now and then. Right. Not together, at least. Right, yeah. Shelly says, oh, yeah, Shelly. One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday dear Shelly. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Uh, Kathy got a creamy and may never drink keto chow again. I feel that. I feel that I, as well. I feel that. And you know to what? Be I clear, actually always in a, a creamy in a instead creamy, of instead drinking of it. Drinking. Yeah. yeah, I actually made the last four that I made. I made uh, like three fourths of a serving. Okay. And it worked out better for me because I added my little mix-ins, which mostly is just the keto brick little yeah. tiny pieces. But I wasn't overly full because usually when I eat a whole one, I'm like, oh, I'm so full. So I felt like I was a little bit more satisfied. So that was happy for me. Lady Frisader says, who has a recipe for a keto chow fat bomb? So when Joe and Rachel we did have the some. We have some. birthday cake announcement birthday video, cake. they have a recipe for fat Ooh. bombs using that. So you're saying look up their YouTube video? Yeah. And also on the keto chow website, we do have a bunch of different fat bomb recipes. Um, they're really good. Sorry, Jerry, J Jerry just say, how would I kamikaze? Just throw them all in there together. Can't be worse than raspberry cheesecake and chocolate peanut butter. <laughs> Chris has done that before. You mean you made one for me and it wasn't very good. <laughs> I did exactly what you said, which was just throw them all together and yep. mix it up. And I'm like, uh, I don't think you want to do that. Cynthia says like, we're okay. a tease. Can we have a clue? <laughs> Tune in tomorrow. Carrie says, I fell asleep in my chair. Now I'm going to bed. Go to bed, man. Good night, Carrie. Protect the asset. And you're yes, the asset. Protect the asset. John says, do you all just make a creamy as usual and pour it into the creamy pipe and then freeze? Yes. Yes. Exactly that. Yes. I don't think I've ever made them special. Yep. So. Well, I make mine special in that I use less water. Because uh, I do a yeah, full yeah. serving of keto chow in a creamy. But you split. But you know what? I split mine You split into three into four. Instead of, yeah. 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 That's better um, for me. Kat Catherine says, I had a birthday cake hot like Joe and Rachel made. It was mm, awesome. Nice. <laughs> Summer Shoes and Gals says, Night Owls Rock. So our discussion topic for today is supposed to be how do you stay keto oh, gosh. Yeah. and why high are we, fat why are we while planning about new flavors? outdoor trips or camping? It's not even a thing. We're talking about camping today. Right? Well, because right. Miriam and I are going to be going on this 25-mile <gasps> yes. hike next I'm so week. so excited. We actually so excited. started getting out... That's actually what our daughter was upset about was we, yeah. I got out the um, sleeping bags and was like, okay, let's go through the sleeping bags, pick out which ones that we want. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about washing mine. I'd be down for that. Right? Yeah. Who knows who used it last? And the ones that I pulled out, I was like, Ugh. Anyway, so I, th I think I'm going to wash mine. I um, um, want you to wash mine too. Well, I think I can, we can only wash one at a time. But they're friends. We have a high capacity washing machine. Yeah, they can hold six horse blankets at a time. That's what the guy said. They can hold four horse blankets. Four horse blankets. Okay. He's like, you really don't need this. And I'm like, I have six kids. Yeah. And he's like, but you really don't need this. I'm like, but I still have six kids. Anyway, so we got that out, um, but we're planning out all the stuff and getting ready for that. But so as far as staying keto right. while we're doing this camping trip, yes. camping, hiking trip, hiking because trip. the menu calls for a lot of stuff that we're just not going to be able to eat. Yep. Um, especially on the dinners, they're like mixing. Yep. All the lunches and the uh, I think the breakfasts are all going to be fine. Yeah. Um, and then the lunches are all hoagies, and so we'll just have the inside. Yep. Which will be fine. But I'm, I'm going to bring my about scale. The breakfast though, because they it says bacon and eggs, but usually oh, yeah. it's like. A strip of bacon or 
Yeah, Too but late. we have some friends on the food committee. Correct. And they're going to hook us up with some extra bacon. Still, one of the tactics that we're bringing is Miriam and I are each going to each going to bring four keto chows mixed yes. up, ready to go to put into the cooler mm -hmm. that the food people are using. Which I'll have my specific macros on there so that I can put it into chronometer. I'm going to bring my scale and my bowl that I take everywhere like a crazy person. Did you hear what Lindsay said she's doing? I guess not, because we were talking about something else. Tell She's me. making Muddy Buddies. Oh, yeah. So the Keto Chow Muddy They're Buddies. They're so good. You should the, show that recipe right now. Mm -hmm. The Keto Chow Muddy Buddies are so good. It's with chocolate peanut butter, Keto Chow. It's um, pork rinds, and like you could put peanuts in it or any other nuts. or You could do coconut flakes. There's a whole bunch of... It's just a really it's good so recipe. It's so good. I guess we'll have to buy some uh, mm -hmm. chocolate chips if I want to do it. You know what way. else would be good in that? Some cereal school. Yeah, probably would. Yeah, that yeah, that's true. She's going to make that. So that's our friend that's uh, type 1 diabetic, and so she's going to be hiking along with us. Um, and she's in charge of a group of kids. We're in charge of, like, photography uh, stuff, yep. which is funny because I'm not a photographer, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh, man, I lost the... Uh chat <laughs> let's fun. see anyway so yeah bringing along planning stuff ahead of time mm -hmm. about what you can wow there's a couple a bunch of uh chat messages that i totally missed and oh, i'm sorry i'm about sorry that. i'm sorry i'm going back and i'm like wow i missed that i missed that i missed that <laughs> sean says camping you mean my hotel window faces the forest yes yes now the cool thing about camping and going outdoors is that a lot mm -hmm. of times, especially breakfast on camping, it tends to be bacon and eggs yes. and sausage. I'll just drink the grease. It's fine. And something that we've done a lot of times is load up on breakfast. And then we don't eat anything else. Sometimes not for the rest of the day. Yeah. Or sometimes we just eat a little bit of stump something for dinner. Yeah. And that actually brings us to one of the discussion topics today. Okay. Someone said, wanted to know, is it better for someone with diabetes to eat several times a day? Oh, that's a hard one. Or to not snack and eat two or three times a day? Well, I think it depends on the severity of the diabetes, yeah. for, first of all. Because, for, for instance, like our friend Lindsay, who we were just talking about, she's type 1. She cannot fast. Yeah. She just can't. Uh, and so she does have to eat multiple times a day. She's also a stick. Yeah, she's not trying to lose weight either, yeah. um, but she, because she can't, and she'll go like, the, our church does a fast once a month, a religious fast, yeah. and she will go like six hours, and she's like, okay, I, I did as best as I could, um, but I think what's, what she tries to do more is kind of what Joan Rachel has, you know, tried to, to do is fast from something that, anything that's like not Instagram necessarily even food, yeah. right? Um, so that, in that case, like, she can't fast. So she does do more meals, and I don't know how many meals she eats. Yeah, now see, where this, where this recommendation comes from is the conventional wisdom for mm -hmm. diabetics is that they need to eat 300 grams of carbohydrates a day. Right. And then add insulin on top of that. Here's a crazy idea. Don't eat the stuff that makes you and have to you take extra insulin. And you don't have to insulin. add the insulin. Yeah. But then they also will tell them, and you need to eat lots of small meals to keep up your energy. Right. How on earth did our ancestors even survive? They ate a lot at one time. Oh, and yeah. they ate a lot of fat. That's right. Um, so the notion uh, behind eating lots of small meals mm -hmm. does not have any scientific basis. Zero. Yes. I just think when you're healing and if your glucose is dropping, that, that's a, yeah. the... Now, if you're just starting keto... If your keto, glucose is dropping, you have to still have food. Yeah. But, yeah, there, anyway, there's a really good resource from Dr. Ted Naiman, and I have this linked in the description of this video. Oh, okay. Because he's changed around his website. It's nearly impossible to find this anymore. I actually had to find it on the web archive. Oh, really? Um, anyway... Well, maybe he doesn't Lots want of that information to know about that anymore. time restricted feeding. And he, okay, so here he has, you know, you've got fat burning and you've got sugar burning. Right. Okay. Fat has a little bit of a response. Response. Um, protein, 
a bigger response. And digestible carbohydrates, even bigger response. Okay, okay? so that's the insulin responses that you're showing us? Yeah. Okay. So anyway, he goes on and he explains about time-restricted feeding or intermittent fasting. Okay. This right here, I remember when I first saw this. It's like if you have breakfast and then a snack and then lunch and then a snack and then dinner, and then you don't eat for a while and then you eat a snack at midnight and then you go to bed, how long are you actually without insulin? The more times you eat, yeah. every time you bump that insulin up, it's, it's going to keep you out of fat burning mode. So you're saying I should quit snacking again? Yeah. So here's your traditional three meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, okay? Um, and what he advocates is for a smaller eating window. Now, this mm -hmm. doesn't work for everybody. Yep. This is kind of generalized, but it's, it's an interesting way to think about it and to look at it. Yeah. The, the smaller eating window, the fewer times you eat, the better. And so eating a, and then he has this warrior diet of, hey, one, mm -hmm. just eat once. Yep. Anyway, yeah, so the, this is linked in the description of this video. Um, and oh good, I was sharing it. <laughs> oh good, because we just um, showed a bunch of papers. Right? Um, check that out. See if it makes sense to mm -hmm. you. See if it sounds like something that you could do. And especially if you're like a type 2 diabetic that maybe isn't using um, medications yet. Now there were some people that were saying, hey, I take these medications and I really have to eat. Yeah, and I totally, yeah, I support you. Okay. You need to Oh, work your way off those medications and then start looking into if possible and longer okay. windows of not eating mm -hmm. but anyway so that's that's one technique that has worked well for us mm -hmm. when you're going to be out hiking when you're going to be you know out doing stuff if your insulin is low you'll be able to access stored energy you yeah. won't need a snack you may want something to chew on mm -hmm. um but I'm just you, chewing on the air and the high elevation yeah we like to use sugar-free um, gum. Yeah, I do like to chew gum. Anyway, okay, here oh. we go. Uh, Scott's back see. from his walk. Nice. Bob says, yeah, learn how to make pemmican for hiking. So oh, pemmican is essentially um, meat. the carnivore bars. Yeah. Like that's really what it is. Yeah. Kathy says, please never stop making raspberry cheesecake. Uh, for a while, we didn't have it because it was having it, issues. We but no, that's one that we're going to be Yeah, we like that one. Mike says, I'm thinking horses probably prefer unwashed blankets. Yeah, those horses. <laughs> Cindy says, I'm having such a hard time staying keto traveling. It's hard. In the yeah. past, one of the techniques that we've done is just don't eat when you're traveling. Yeah. Like on the airplane. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay. Well, and especially like when you get to where you're going and it's like, okay, now we have to stop and we have to find some place to eat and blah, blah, blah and all this other stuff. And if you just say, you know what, I'm just not eating for the next 12 six hours, hours, six hours, whatever, then you don't even have to think yeah, about and it. And then I'm not and stressed. It, and then my feelings aren't hurt because they don't have anything I can eat on the airplane. That's, yes. that's the biggest lesson I've learned from working with Robert. And he didn't even teach me that. Okay. I get my feelings hurt because I want to eat. I'm okay. not hungry. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I don't need to eat. I have FOMO. It, if somebody's eating, I just want to eat with them. I, so I don't even have to like the food. I just <laughs> my, my feelings are very sensitive. <laughs> and so I've noticed like that is a big deal for me. So if I know somebody's going to be eating, then I'm going to try not to eat during the other times so, so that I can, can eat, eat with, with them. them. Mm -hmm. And I've even gotten to the point where I take like just one yogurt to work so that I can eat lunch with the girls and then have my actual meal with my family. Okay. So that's big, big breakthrough for me. And it also says I had some bacon with maple waffle mug cake. It was so yummy. Oh, that, that does, does sound, sound yummy. And Shauna says, or you can chop up a keto brick into pieces and throw it in the muddy days. <gasps> that would totally work. Kathy says, do you guys yes. actually have a favorite flavor? Yes. And mine tends to change. It does, mine does change. Uh, I, like, my favorite, absolute favorite is probably chocolate peanut butter and chocolate toffee put together. They're a match made in heaven. They taste <laughs> like Butterfinger to me. I do really like chocolate mint. I really like chocolate. 
I really like root beer from time to time. Carol says we could take the sleeping bag to the cleaners. Yeah, but our our we could. our uh, we have a high totally occupancy washer, high capacity. <laughs> Bob says camping, staying in a hotel with no room service. To this day, I don't I have, think I've I don't ever think I've used ever had room, room service. service. The closest we've had is there's a hotel called the Alaskan Inn. Oh, that was nice. And they bring breakfast to your room and leave it on a stand outside your door. But you know what? We don't even like that anymore because they used to have this yummy hot chocolate. Oh, they still do, they but we still don't drink do, it anymore. Yeah. Well, last time we just got like a whole bunch of extra bacon and sausage. It wasn't the same. So we just don't go there anymore. Loretta's here. There's a notification on the chat tonight. Hi, Loretta, hi. Okay, Andrew says, Miriam, I'm doing that on the 24th of July when my husband and I go to St. Lucia Sandals. Yes. That's why I didn't go on the cruise. I'm weighing everything and already scooping, scoping out the gym. I'm so proud of you. Nice. I wanted to ask how your like workouts are going. Are you loving it? Scott Tell says, me. the cool Tell thing me. about camping is not doing it. Give me your hotel room near the forest, mountains, etc. I'll spend know. all day in nature, but give me a bed at night. That's the thing. We're going to bring cots because we're babies and um, little mattresses, air mattresses to go on top of the cots. So we should be fine. Kathy wants us to collaborate with Robert and do a raspberry cheesecake keto brick. Oh, yeah. That, that would be interesting. Yeah. They huh. did just come out with a banana one. What was it? Banana walnut banana caramel waffle, or something like or that? Banana nut. I ordered it. It's coming. It's on okay. its way. Jennifer says, hmm, camping food. Basically meat cooked over a fire, right? Yes. <laughs> Actually, we... It's not only just keto, but carnivore. We do amazing when we're camping. And you know what? Our kids do amazing camping, too. We were just talking about this. We're going on a big uh, boat trip this August. Oh yeah, this August. And I ju we had all the kids, and we were having a little, you know, Talking family about it, meeting. And we're, like, and we're gonna I'm just like, hey, pretty let's much just do, let's just do two meals a day. Are you guys okay with that? Because we've done that before as a family. That means that we get to sleep in. Yeah, we get to sleep in. We make a big breakfast. Everybody just eats until they're full, which is a lot. Yeah. And then we don't eat until dinner, I'm and then we, we make a big to... breakfast or big dinner. And I'm thinking we might eat. need to bring the camp chef with the big griddle. Oh, that's a good idea. That'd be way easier It'd than trying to easier. cook in the tiny kitchen. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. We can just put it out on the... And then let's also throw our kids on the shore in okay. a tent at night. <laughs> well, we're, we're talking about doing that. Anyway, Annabelle says I'm It'll probably pre-diabetic now. I'm getting excellent numbers. And Marie says I'm type 1 and have no mm -hmm. issues fasting. Two or three meals a day and no snacking works best for me. Yes. And you know what? That's another thing about camping. We don't snack because we don't bring snacks. Yes. That's the when thing. We, when we travel. Um, because a lot of times like, we always cruise. feel like I we need snacks. I ate better on the cruise than I normally do because there was no way to get a snack. Well, I, I mean, you know, I, I could go too. get a snack. But. I ate amazing on the cruise. <laughs> I did so good on the cruise. I actually lost so like four good. pounds when I got home because I didn't want to walk up to flight 12 yeah. to eat anymore. And I didn't have a kid that needed to be eating every five seconds. So it was just, it was great. Great, great. One says I'm type two and eat two to three meals a day and, and mm -hmm. same no snacking is better for me. Yeah, and that works out good. Thank you for sharing that. Bob says lots of small meals is the worst nutritional advice ever. Yeah. All it did for me was take me from diabetes to triple bypass. Oh, oh, ouch. And Annabelle says my auntie is type two diabetic and she just won't even try keto. Mm -hmm. Lynn says the fewer times you eat a day equals fewer insulin responses throughout right. the day. Best way to heal insulin resistance right and i do know like sam and i were actually having a discussion because he was saying like his friends would eat a lot more than he did and he's like i just don't, i'm not hungry to eat that much at one time okay but he doesn't have to eat five times a day he just yeah. when he's hungry he eats more and then when he's not hungry if we're having a you meal he eats anything a little. but chaffles because he hates those oh chaffles he still will eat those and if he's hungry yeah. did he eat one and a half pieces of lasagna i thought he went back for a second one today i don't remember no. but i saved what he missed and anyway, scott says that liz says that your earrings are super <laughs> cute thank you Marie says those diabetic recommendations come from the older insulin where you had to eat meet the peaks of the insulin so you wouldn't get hypoglycemic okay that's yeah, an interesting. That makes sense. That, it does make sense. That's the old insulin. We mm -hmm. have new stuff now. <laughs> 
Sean says a small family could live in your washer. Probably. Yeah, it's high occupancy. <laughs> Sean says I love my delivered coffee to my cabin on the cruise. Yeah, oh, we still cool. never took advantage of yeah, that. Yeah, we also weren't in our cabin very much. No, we, we didn't. just go there at night. Cynthia or to meet our kids. yes on the collaboration as well. Yeah. yeah, Mike says it was banana muffin. Cake. Yes, I okay. ordered some. I'm excited because I like banana. And I like putting the keto brick into the Ninja Creamy Keto Chow. And having another option would be delicious. Having like a fruitier option. So that makes me happy. Cool. And it also says I'm having acupuncture tomorrow to help me with anxiety. So it's easier for me to eat. Yay. I'm so blessed. I've got an amazing acupuncturist. That's awesome. I have done that before too a couple of times. And I thought it was really cool. Andrea says to you, I've been pushing through. I still do, do still do CrossFit. Yay. And my pounds are going up along with the reps. I don't want to do it anymore. If I want a day off, I take it. It's yes. Going well, going well overall. Yeah. Nice. And, th and that's so awesome. We were talking with Bronson, and he says he gets so frustrated when everybody does cardio on in their recovery day. And um, so I've been doing three days of weightlifting and then two or three days of, of cardio, and then I take a Sunday off. And then I also, like, on my cardio day, I do lift a little only because I'm at the gym. And I just do like three machines or something like that, but I don't push myself too hard. But I just really like that recovery day. It's good. So it's Shauna good. and Jujib want to know how on earth we're taking all that stuff on the hike. So here's how it goes. There well, are hand carts and everybody has a five gallon bucket with like their stuff they need right, during the day. Right. And those are pushed and pulled mostly by the, mm -hmm. the teenagers. And then adults are just kind of walking around. And then we get to where we're going to camp and a, a logistics trailer, team. the logistics team has pulled the trailer with the sleeping bag and tent and all that and other stuff. Cots, and the food cooking stuff. And they the set it baby all up. Stuff. And then they pack that up and move to the next spot. Yeah, so we don't so. have to do, like, we just have to do the walking. And I have to take pictures. Yeah, but the griddle is... The when we're going, when we're going with our on family the on the yeah. lake trip, which will be really fun. Yep. I'm excited about it. Becky says, please do share, Chris. What? What am I sharing? Andrew says, funny, I can't stand cruise food. I only eat at dinner and black coffee in the morning with pats of butter. I'd suck up. Oh, yeah. I was yes. 10 pounds spring break during ours. Isn't um, that funny? Robert, I get sick of the food, We too. haven't published Robert Sykes' video from the cruise yet. Oh, yeah. But he said that he did not eat anything. He only ate cruise. eggs. Was it eggs? Okay. I think he only ate, but he's also in a cutting phase yeah, right he's now. Yeah, he's like and preparing he's, for a show. Yeah, he said he ate like 12 eggs a day or something. He's like, that's just what I decided I was going to do. And so that's what he's doing. And he maybe brought them all. Yep. So I don't know. Okay, Becky sure. says, why are you, we retiring guava grapefruit? So guava grapefruit mm, didn't sell didn't very sell well. Because well, um, we would like... It's actually still the very first batch of it that we ever introduced. We only mm -hmm. ever bought one um, batch of guava grapefruit, and that's still what we have. So because it just hasn't sold very well, we decided that once it's sold out, it's not going to be coming back. Um, it was done as a limited edition. Okay, let me just tell you, Robert Sykes's um, thing is premiering on the 2nd. June, I mean, July 2nd? Yeah. Nice. So that's a uh, Sunday. It was really cool. He didn't have any slides. Yeah. He just talked. It was, you know, I loved, I loved how he introduced it. He said, yeah. I am not doing slides because I would pay too much attention to the slides and I want to pay attention to yeah. you. And I'm like, that is so amazing because I feel like on this keto journey, the things that I, that are most valuable to me are the things I learn about myself and having him mm. recognize that about himself that... I would pay attention to the slides and I'm not really paying attention to the audience. That's a big deal, right? Yep. And so I'm like, oh, I'm so proud of you. Good job. They <laughs> say, oh, you're glamping. I don't know about glamping. No, because we are still sleeping on the ground. I mean, we're still sleeping on the ground and Miriam and I, but we they, they, do, they will have refrigeration. So I guess by definition, I know, but glamping. it's not our refrigeration. See, if we were, if we were glamping, we'd have our own refrigerator. Yeah. We'd have our own cooler in our truck, but we won't have our truck with us. Uh, and so we're still like limited. We're still limited. Okay, so Marie says, yeah, newer insulin are super fast acting comparatively. Regular mm -hmm. was the fast acting when I was diagnosed 25 years ago. Right. And longest acting was ultra lente, which I believe was yes. a little over 12 hours. Wow. Yeah. That's just a baseline. That's true. Becky says, I'm making fruit flavored keto chow ice pops for July 4th. What a nice. good idea. 
Well, Marisa's now the fast acting kicks in within five to fifteen minutes. Yes. Wow. And they're a long act, long. Lasting ones, they're 24 plus. Don't hours. people often get prescribed for both? They have like a yeah, long one that they have. There's a bolus for, that they just keep yeah, and then, going. And then, and then they have like a faster one for like emergent yep. situations. Yes, indeed. Okay, someone wanted to know will keto chow ever be available in physical retail stores? Probably not. So the problem <laughs> is, and Becky says, shall, shall I stock up on the uh, guava grapefruit? I yes, would recommend it. Because it's not coming back. So the problem with uh, keto chow in retail stores is oh, so there are quite a few people who complain about the cost of keto chow, or the, rather the price of keto chow. Yes. We actually have the price as low as we can tolerate it. In fact, we recently got hit yep. with another cost increase mm -hmm. from our um, supplier. And rather than raising the price of keto chow, we changed the free shipping amount mm. it used to be you could get free shipping on all orders and we're like ah uh, how about orders over 99 dollars? and then it's just whatever it costs to ship it to you right. if it's lower than that but yeah we don't have a good markup on keto chow as far as this is how much it costs us this is how much we sell it for and for retail they you need to have at least their their price they need to be able to multiply it by like four. And there's no way that they could do it. So also in they order want to us do that, to put it in different packages. Yeah, that's true. So in order for it to go into retail. It'd have to cost more. We would probably have to double the price. And that would suck. And it would suck. So yeah, it's not going to be in retail anytime soon. So. And he says, living in Colorado, when I was active, I wanted to do Trek, but my ward never went. Oh, such a bummer. We, well, you can come I never with went us. as a kid. Come with us. <laughs> yeah, I never went as a kid either, because I don't think they were doing it when I was a kid. GGB says, if you don't have insurance or good insurance, you can still get the old stuff, though, because of cost. Oh, the insulin. Yeah. Mm. Nicole says, forgive me, as I'm sure this has been asked before, but I'm newer to keto. Do you experiment with different sweeteners? Monk fruit, stevia, I love birthday cake, mm. and still trying to learn uh, to do. We do. Um, so the core uses um, stevia. Mm -hmm. The natural strawberry uses monk, monk fruit. fruit. There is actually the core that uses no sweetener. Yep. So you can play with different Whatever sweeteners you want. with it. Yeah. We have traditionally used sucralose as a sweetener in the past just because it gives the best flavor Mm -hmm. and what we want is something that people aren't mad to use or aren't reticent to use. They're looking forward to it rather than they're like, oh, yeah, that's right. I have to eat my shake now. I have to do that shake thing. <laughs> Instead, they're like, Yay. so can I replace two of my meals with this? How about three? How about you, ice you cream? You want I want ice cream. Yeah, you can make it into ice cream. I That's, love keto chow ice cream yep. because then I don't have to feel guilty about eating ice cream. Now, as far as things like allulose and erythritol, those are bulk sweeteners. Mm -hmm. um, the problem with those is a we'd have to double the size of the packaging. Yeah, to have or it in keto chow. Cut in half the number of servings per container, mm -hmm. and it would still cost just as much. So it would be effectively be doubling the price, mm -hmm. and you would get. Less. At less. Yeah. So that's why we don't use something like allulose. But with the aforementioned keto chow core unsweetened, mm -hmm. you can use allulose. You can use erythritol. You can, and we even have a little table that will that kind of helps you figure out um, which how much of the different ones yeah. to use. And Nicole, thanks for being here and asking that. Yeah. We appreciate it. Oh, and Nicole um, still still trying to learn how to do keto chow ice cream without a creamy. If you Google keto chow. Vitamix ice cream. There's a couple videos showing mm. how to do it. Yeah. But Kathy wants red velvet cake. I'm not sure. What, red velvet cake, isn't that just I dyed chocolate with some vanilla? I don't if know. If I'm not mistaken. I, don't, I never had red velvet yeah. cakes. I mean, I have had it, but. And he says, I just buy the big bags of one flavor and then five or six singles to add to the, up to the 100. There That's you go. a good idea. Andy, did you give me some salt at KetoCon? Maybe. I think it was Reese says, long acting to cover the basal needed for the glucose the liver is constantly releasing. And fast acting for food and to correct hyperglycemia. Yes. Nice. 
Exchange student wants to know, are we doing a, a quick video tomorrow for a special announcement? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, let's see. Andrew says, chow is not too expensive. Baked goods and and that are kio yeah, are expensive. Yeah, that's true. So I use my kio chow to make goodies. If I use right, it's very cost effective. Yes. And it's so nice because they can last a long time. You make a batch of things and you just put them in Ziploc bags, put them in the freezer, and then yep. it lasts a long time and you're not going to overeat on all those delicious treats because you have to eat through the whole thing. Supposing Darkness says, I didn't see chai latte in the list of kio chow. I need to add it oh, and birthday cake to yep. the uh, flavor availability. Yep. Platte River Keto says, I missed Trek as a kid in our area. Hasn't done it. Oh. So I don't think I will end up doing it with my kids either. You should come I'm to honest, ours. I'm not actually too sad. You should come to ours. Miriam volunteered us <laughs> last time. I begged them to, to let me go. Seriously. I'm like, do you know who wants to go on track? Me. I want to go on track. Me and my husband want to go. And I, anyway. And he went. He had a good time. He was lovely. We never did it as a kid. Actually, as a kid, I also never got to do the Pinewood Derby. I would have cried. I, I, I didn't either. Did. Only boys got to do the Pinewood they Derby. Did it, I thought they did a girls no. class. No. Okay. <laughs> no. Becky says, we've been trying blender keto chow salted caramel three days in a row. Nice. Yum, ninja creamy. Nice. Nice. Uh, Mike says, is there any flavor close to selling out soup? Birthday, Birthday cake. cake. The, oh, Becky says, yeah, the keto, the, the Ninja Creamy is not in our budget. Yeah. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah. But you know what? It's okay, because you got to do what you got to do. Oh, Andy says, it wasn't me. But if you want some Akita Palooza, I'll give you some. No, we, we have a lot of salt. <laughs> no, says, I, I just... Love the flavors too. I got some from somebody, and I can't remember you what... You forgot who it was? Her name. I remember what her face looked like. Yep. Vidalix says, I love all the flavors too. I got my Ninja Creamy just two months ago, and I eat ice cream almost every day. Yeah, right? I mean, I, I like it. GGB says, I just need to know if I need to set an alarm or not, Chris. I need a win. Throw me a freaking bone, bro. Uh, what time zone are you in, GGB? Yeah. I'm guessing you're in the eastern time zone because nope. like 48% yes. of the population yes. lives there. Actually, I think she is. So, I don't know. Noon sounds good. Uh, let's see. Andy says, first time meeting you guys in October, and I'm so excited. Nice. Yes. Mike says, hypothetically, what time of day would be a good time to watch? For you, I don't know, probably like 9 a.m. No, not that early. Well, he's in the Pacific time zone. Is he? Yeah. Are you? In, in crazy Nevada. 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 Yeah. Nevada. Eastern time, so noon. Okay, so. Gosh, Chris, you're telling me everything. I don't know what you're talking about. Tanya says, I'm curious about the different options for fats. What does everyone prefer? Does it differ with the different flavors, too? So for me, yes. I use melted butter. I use butter for pretty much everything now. If I can, for everything. Except now I use the um, tallow for the core. Okay. Which is good. Which I like preferring. I like doing the... You like uh, preferring butter. I like the butter for everything. It's, yes. it's just easier. Although when we first started with butter, I didn't do butter for like the sweeter flavors. I did heavy cream. Yeah, And I true. think it just took me a while to... But here's the thing. The butter makes over. all the flavors come out. So for yes. instance, one of the cri criticisms we have of the uh, strawberry mm -hmm. is that it doesn't have a strong strawberry yes. flavor. Yes. You mix it up with butter and, and that stronger. strawberry comes through. Yeah. So... If I if I have the time and I have the equipment, meaning a blender and a microwave, yep. I totally do butter for everything. Yep. Barb Period. is here from Michigan. Barb, what? What city do you live in, Michigan? I have a First friend live. who lives. Oh no, in Mason. Do you in know where Mason? Mason is? Yeah, I went there and visited her. It Supposing was really darkness fun. Supposing darkness wants to know if we're going to be sending a text. It depends on if you're signed up uh, for text. Ah, that's or not. a good question. I don't know how we can tell people to sign up for text. He likes his butter. <laughs> it just says butter 100% of the time for me I haven't done tallow yet I'm still working up the nerve now here's the thing about butter is yeah. it's kind of like level level pro yeah you I would recommend you start pro off level. with heavy cream if you can because it's so much easier to yeah, it's figure easier out to make. it's so much easier and then from there if once you're ready try something like butter what about ghee she's been doing butter forever can you use ghee not geek geek can you use ghee or clarified butter instead of regular butter? If you want to. Yeah. There, metabolically, there's very little difference between ghee, clarified butter, and regular butter. Um, it just, if you like the flavor, 
Hey, there you go. Mike says tallow is mostly tasteless. It's surprisingly mild. I was surprised too. Refined coconut oil is the same way. Oh, and that's yummy. If you put it in like the pina colada. Oh, can I just tell Unrefined you Unrefined coconut oil is also, also very yummy. good. And was it yeah. Mike that got us the coconut manna? Yes. Which was like, it's like peanut butter made but with coconut. It was coconut. Yeah. It was awesome. Anyway, you were going to say sorry. Oh, uh, I don't remember. It's gone. Okay. GGB says Miriam is my street cred. Loves pays, uh, pays to have friends in high yeah. places. Yeah. It's been a tough week, and the stove that was throwing know, fireballs gosh. like Super Mario Brothers. Mm. Ah, the luck, honey. You have had a lot of luck lately. Lady Fritzsater is 15 minutes from Mason. <gasps> I was by you this summer. It was so pretty. Yep. It's so it's such a cute um, little town. Okay, last question. Okay, last. Does question. keto chow have caffeine? Um, some do. Some have caffeine. We actually have an FAQ about this. Mm -hmm. Uh, the mocha has caffeine, added caffeine. The chocolate has a tiny bit. 9.2 milligrams. The chocolate mint Ooh. has a tiny bit or more. I mean, less, bit less. Uh, ice cream has a teeny Oh, this tiny should say uh, chocolate macchiato. and chocolate peanut butter. Oh, chocolate and chocolate yeah. peanut butter. Anyway, yes. sorry. Yes. Chocolate mint, yeah. Irish cream and caramel macchiato, we thought that they had no coffee powder yeah, at all. Yeah, they had it in the natural flavor. We found out there was just this little tiny yeah. amount. Because natural flavoring has stuff in it. Yep. Anyway, so, so yeah, there are some, it's a little but bit. mocha's the only one that has added mm -hmm. ca um, caffeine. And if you want to mix any keto chow flavor with coffee, you can. A lot of people really like yep. doing that. Yep. Um, and some people like to mix keto chow into their coffee and some people like to mix coffee into their keto chow yeah you can go either way yeah um, jennifer said she was confused she saw vegetarian ghee at the grocery store what that's not a thing well no it would be a thing it's that's probably margarine butter. it's probably butter flavored seed oil mm. <sighs> on our one of our on one of the menus it said they're bringing margarine which mark? Oh, yeah. On one of our things for our camping trip. I'm like, oh, you guys. It's cheap. Kathy says, I love pecans. Well, Sean says, most of, mm. most of mine do in the morning because I make it with coffee. Yeah. Yes. Have caffeine. There you go. GGB says, bad luck, but the double rainbow tonight means it's turning around. Yes, it's turning around. Double rainbow across the sky. Double what rainbow. does it mean? What does it mean? Vicky says, be careful hiking. They lost two hikers in Big Bend National Park recently. Oh, my yeah. gosh. So we're going to be in the middle of... Wyoming? Uh, well, it's right by Evanston, Wyoming. If you know... Okay, so you've got Utah. Mm -hmm. Utah. And you got Wyoming that sticks into Utah, right? It's the little part that... We're, we're right where Wyoming pokes yeah. into Utah. Right I think there. the hardest thing about our hike is there's not going to be any shade. You're completely out in the open the entire time you're walking. and Yeah, you want shade, bring a hat. That's what we're doing. Go to we're bed. wearing big old floppy hats. Yep. We'll maybe try to do a couple lives or something on our trip while we're out with our floppy hats. Lives? No. There's I mean, no cell service. Recorded and then sends. Yeah. Sends. Sends. Sending. Speaking of which, this live stream next week is going to be moved to Monday night. Yeah, because night. it's the 4th of July. And yeah. we don't want to interrupt your guys' 4th yeah. of July plan. So I will go ahead and schedule that after this live stream is done. Okay, cool. You'll actually see a couple of live streams pop up scheduled. But yeah, so we're, we won't be doing a Tuesday night live stream. We'll be doing a Monday night live stream. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Shauna says, I like both. Keto chow and coffee and coffee and keto chow. Yay! Mimi says, yeah, it's butter-flavored coconut oil. Okay, that's not yeah, actually but not that's, bad. But that's okay. Like that's Yeah, butter-flavored coconut, coconut oil. oil. Because I actually I have some of that, too. Um, when I was doing No Dairy for a while, we were doing a lot of Maria Emmerich's. Holly and I were doing it together. Maria Emmerich's recipes. And a, one of them called for butter-flavored coconut oil. Linda says, can you take an umbrella? Totally good. Yeah, we could totally, do, we could totally take an umbrella. Oh, man. Why are we anyway. not doing that? Yeah. Do we have time? No. <sighs> I'm taking an umbrella. <laughs> I'm going to the store. I, I mean, I have an umbrella, but anyway, you were saying, sorry, um, coconut flavored, I mean, oh, yeah. butter so flavored I, coconut oil. I have some, and I've used it, and it does taste like butter. Yeah. yeah. Lance says we're going to be trekking right by her property. Yes, we will. Yes. Can you Oh, Sean says carrying an umbrella hat. Yeah. 
I have a really big, you guys have seen my hat before. I had it on the cruise. It's a very big, wide brim, round hat. So. Yeah. We got a spammer on Facebook. Oh, it's been a long time since we had a spammer. Yeah. Ashana says I'll be working. <laughs> it also says it's my sister's birthday on the 4th of July. Nice. And it's America's birthday, too. Yeah. And Ashana says Walmart's open around the block from you, right? Well, mm. I'm thinking of uh, looking on Amazon to see if I can find one that's like silver, like... It's a parasol. That's reflective? Yeah. In Spanish. But it would shine in people's faces. No, it'd be shining up. So, in Spanish, the word for umbrella is parasol. for water. Para agua. Uh, and the thing for a parasol is a parasol. You've got the for water and you've got the for sun. Yeah. Let's I just, just go to like funny. a sporting goods store and see if they have a... Now, Becky points out that when I sh that they get hungry when they chew gum. Uh, that, I, Sometimes, I believe that's yeah, a thing, too. I found that, too. Because there is a cephalic response, right? There's yeah. some kind of... You get, your like, body says, oh, are we Your body's now? like, oh, you're mm -hmm. eating, and you're tasting a sweet. So I totally think that's a, that's a thing. Like, that's really a thing. But sometimes I'm just like, I just need to chew something. GB says, I have an umbrella hat somewhere. I haven't found it yet. <laughs> yeah. Becky likes blueberry pie better. Awesome. Well, I think we're going to go now. We've been on for an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Had well, a fun thanks. time, yeah, though. Yeah, thanks for hanging so, out with us, guys. Yeah, you'll we, have a fantastic we day. We appreciate you. And Miriam, we'll yeah. see you on Monday. I will go to the yeah. doctor tomorrow. Yes, Miriam's going to go to the doctor tomorrow. <laughs> and Chris might talk to you. I don't know what you're talking about. Another time. Anyway, you all have a great day. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bunny ears on that yeah, guy. Yeah, bunny ears. <laughs>